let's learn how to add a beautiful bokeh effect to your images in just a few steps using Photoshop. Open the image you want to edit in Photoshop, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J in the layers panel, do this twice to create two copies, name the first layer original, name the second layer bokeh, and name the third layer subject. For now hide the subject layer and select the bokeh layer. Find the lasso tool, hold it down and make a rough selection around the subject so that we can remove our subject and create a clean background. This step does not have to be perfect. Now go to Edit, Content Aware Fill. Once a new window opens, press OK and our selection will be replaced automatically. Press Ctrl D to remove the active selection and select the subject layer. Choose the quick selection tool that's usually hidden behind the magic wand tool. Then press the select subject icon at the top of the screen. Photoshop will attempt to identify the subject of your image. In my case it did a great job but there are still some rough edges. So I can zoom in by holding Z and right clicking. And paint back areas that don't look clean with the plus brush. Or hold Alt and remove them with the minus brush. The brush settings are located here if you need to change any of the settings. Once again, I'm not being too picky with the selection here, but just accurate enough so that the image retains its shape and sharpness. With the selection active and the subject layer selected, press the layer mask icon in the layers panel, and now we are ready to apply the blur. Select the bokeh layer and navigate to Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift. When the new window opens, reduce the viewing distance in the bottom left corner to about 8%. Find the midpoint of the blur effect, then hold and drag it down until none of the lines are showing. Change the viewing mode back to 16% and increase the blur amount to whatever you want. Obviously the higher the blur, the bigger the bokeh will be. You can kind of see the bokeh forming in the background a little bit and the way to increase the strength is by increasing the light bokeh in the effects panel. And then experimenting with the light range. I recommend keeping the two points close to each other for the best results. This looks incredible so far aside from an overexposed area here, which is not a big deal as we can fix this with the stamp tool. Select OK at the top to finalize. And now to fix this bright area, Select the bokeh layer, select the clone stamp tool, reduce the hardness to 0% by right clicking anywhere on the image, increase the brush relative to the area you want to repair, then sample a similar area by holding Alt and start painting. It may take some practice and you'll definitely want to avoid those edges but once you get used to it, it'll be difficult to tell the difference. And this was Design Dummy.